welcome and join me these steps. Today, I'm going to share with you my Mercedes. The TL550 model. I got a problem. My back air suspension has gone back. This is how the expansion looks in the front. If you see a lot of gapping. And if we look at on the rear, it was totally flattened. I'm having issues with the GL550. This is the left side, and this is the right side. And this is how the front looks. See, if we look at the front, it's a big gap. And if we go on the back, see at this moment, if you look at, we have a nice gap. So it's working. So this was uh, happening for the uh, last couple of weeks. And now if you see that uh, air suspension is going up again, the bag is filling up. And uh, even while driving, all of a sudden it goes flat. So there was a problem. See, now it's going down. So it's going up, down. And let's take a look on the other side. If we look it on this side, so if we're looking, on this side, it also does the same thing. It's going up and down. You shut off the engine, and if you look at now, it's only two fingers left. This side bag gone flat right away. And on the other side, if we look at, still we have a big gap. So, and this is the tubing. This is called uh, Mercedes-Benz Original. It's a line cable. So this is the one we're going to replace it. The air suspension bags, these are the new bags. So these we're going to replace it. And that part I'm going to share with you that uh, it's an easy DIY process. And uh, I'll, let's see how we fix it. Once I'm going to fully jack up, then I'm going to put the dead jacks underneath. Then I'm going to pull out this jack so we have enough room to go down. Once we open the trunk, lift. Open up this one. And we're going to take the spare tire out. I already took the spare tire out. Once we open it, then you lift this one and you take the spare tire out. Now this is how it's going to look inside. Two screws, you need a torque driver to open it. You open these. Then you lift this one. You lift it out, and this one has one, two, three, and three on this side. These six of these are locking tabs. You just pry it out. We're going to take out all the push pins, three on this side, then a couple on the back. We're going to pull this carpet by folding it like this. And if we can take a look down here, we just need to make sure that we fold it good. This is the one is. We need to open it. This is the OEM part. So we're going to get a plier, put it right in the middle. Then we're going to open it. Once it's open, and this one is going to come down. Tubing on the airbag, and that's the tubing. If we look at that, has been routed right there, and then coming down, that's going inside the trunk. That's where I opened it. So I'm going to open from the airbag, and then I'm going to replace this one. So the reason I'm replacing this tubing because uh, I hear the air leak from this side. So I'm going to open this. So this is now loose and we can pull this one out. So that's going to come out. And this is uh, the tubing right there. And if we look at now, it's uh, you can see it. That's going inside of this. So we're going to push this tubing. We need to pull this adapter out. And this is the adapter. We just pull it out. So once we pull the connector out, so this is the tubing. We're going to pull it out. So that's going to come out. Just like that. And this side we already pulled it out. 
so we are pulling these out just like this this is the old tubing and this is the new one and this is the new coupling and this is the old one I took it out what I'm gonna do I'm going to take this one off and we're going to insert from bottom of the car uh, where the rubber grommet is so I'm going to insert that one in and we're going to push this one up and then I'm going to put the new coupling and we're going to tighten on top so let me go down I've inserted the tubing into the trunk and uh, as you seen the way we took it out it's gonna go into the same hole so as you seen I inserted the tubing into this one I'm gonna go in this one I'm gonna go in inside so we're going to pull it the tubing from top so I'm going to put this rubber tubing in place once we install the coupling and this is the place we're going to tighten it so I'm going to put it inside and I'm going to make sure I tighten it right so it's nicely tightened it's looking perfectly fine so now we're going to tighten on the trunk side so this is the top side we're going to insert that one inside and this is very important part of this tubing so once we put it in uh, the coupling that uh, the slanted side has to go down and now this is the one where we're going to put it in so we're going to put it inside and we're going to tighten it first the hand tight so hold it with the ply and we use a 10 millimeter socket on this side and that's tight and if we look at now it's perfectly fine now we're going to turn the Mercedes on and we'll see after placing the carpet back we put the wheel back and now this cover these tabs gonna go into these holes and we're going to put it in this one it's gonna fit like this and we're going to press it down just like that you heard the snap it's all three gone and these are the torques screw we're going to put it in i'm going to tighten it that's all it's easy if we look at now very big gap the leak is on my air suspension has been fixed and i drove uh, 200 miles i waited a whole day i let it sit the last night and if it was uh, filled in it did not go down and now after that 200 miles it's still going good that's how it's easy to fix our air suspension leak. It's not that your airbags has gone bad. It could be the tubing as I told you, it's an easy fix. So I hope this video will help you out and motivate you to DIY work yourself and able to fix it. So if you like this video to be helpful, please like, share and subscribe to Thank you and have a good day. Bye bye.